The appellants first spoke to the press at their offices in Kamocha before they set off for the Supreme Court. MPs Ibrahim Semijunganda and Gerard Karuhanga, among others, were accompanied by lawyers Arias Lukwago and Ladislas Rakafuzi. Now, the ball is in the court of the Supreme Court. We want to see if they will also endorse the rule of one man till he dies. As we indicated at the time of filing the notice of appeal, now the ball is in the court of the Supreme Court. They are holding the last key to a stable Uganda. At the Supreme Court, the application was received by the Deputy Court Registrar, Godfrey Agundia Opifeni. According to Lukwago, the Constitutional Court overlooked the matter of the army's invasion of parliament at the height of debate on the lifting of the presidential age limits. And the key of those grounds is the invasion of parliament by the SFC, by members of UPDF and other military groups, other militias that invaded the parliament, caused the mayhem, beat up members of parliament, and promulgated or amended the constitution at the barrel of the gun. Lukwago also believes that the court erred in not quashing the presidential age limit law since the MPs did not fully consult the public before parliament passed the bill. Key pillar of our constitution is people's sovereignty. So in the entire process, the people of Uganda were not involved. They were not consulted. Even those areas where there were purported consultation, they were not effective. In those areas where they purportedly conducted uh, consultations, they were not effective. Either they were cosmetic, like those conducted by NRM MPs, or for the case of the opposition, they were frustrated. The appellant's lawyers also dispute the fact that the Constitutional Court upheld the decision of the Speaker to suspend some opposition MPs who she said were rowdy in the House. The issue of the Speaker having absolute powers to take it arbitrary decisions in deciding matters of this importance, of this gravity. So we are really concerned about those issues and many others. The bribery of members of parliament with the 29 million and others and so on and so forth. So all these issues are raised in the memorandum of appeal, are condensed in the 24 grounds, and we hope the Supreme Court shall rise to the occasion. This is the second appeal against the Constitutional Court ruling. Another petitioner, Malema Birizi, who is also a lawyer, filed his based on 80 issues. Ali Mivle, NTV.